is that this hairy ninja is uniquely built. Nikki. Dad. We've got the crossover that we never knew that we needed. Uh, Josh on and what? Sloths. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Actually, though. Um, have you ever seen the video of um, Kristen? I can't remember her last name. She's married to Dax Shepard. Oh, yeah. Is it the chick crying because she met a sloth? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I had a moment similar to that. Yeah. Um, there is a zoo close to us and they have sloths. But I didn't know that they had sloths. And they were like on an inside yeah. situation. So like I was going around and it said sloths and I freaked out. But they were asleep in their little container. So I could see them, but I couldn't really see them. Yeah. So but if but I just to be in their sloth, presence was enough for you to like, feel some kind of way about it. Like, I, I researched. I thought about, like, what would it be like to have a sloth? Yeah. And the babies, like, they get, like, parasites. And you have to shave them and put the slather, this cream, and then put, like, gauze all over them. Their little skin, basically. <laughs> but then I saw a video of, like, a huge one yeah. sliding around on the floor. And I was like, I'm out. Yeah, they, I don't know. They they're creepy. They can be a bit creepy. The meme with the yeah little bangs. Dude, it used to be a meme that sloths. Were I know. Like, yeah, it's just because its face was all like menacing. A bit, a bit on the arpe. Right, but side. they're yeah. not. It's just the meme. They're like they're like got that creepy little. Yeah, they're little. They got claws. Yeah, it's like, oh. yeah. But I've always seen them just as like these <laughs> weird, these creatures that Mother Nature just like shit on, man. Like, like God said, let there be the platypus, let there be the sloth, and let us all laugh. Okay, isn't it true that they like grow moss on themselves yeah. because they're so gross, slow? Yeah. They move no, so slowly. No, not just slowly. because they're slow, but because it feeds off of the bullshit that grows on Oh, it on has them. its own, like... Ecosystem <laughs> uh, all up in its eyes. Ew. Yeah. Anyway, there is a JonTron video called The Media is Bullying Sloths for some reason. Okay. So, we may need to check this out. You know, it's been out for a couple weeks we finally settled into our new crib, and we have the ability to check this out. I'm ready. I'm I'm ready for All this. Right. Are you? I'm curious. I'm also curious. Let's check this one out, y'all. I just can't keep this in any longer, okay? I've come upon something very, very disturbing. The mainstream press is officially coming for the slow amongst us. That's right. What? Sloths! I'm here to protect the, the good name of sloths. <laughs> our three-toed friends in the trees. I know what you're thinking. A video about slots? That, that's really what you're doing? Yes. And I'll tell you how I got there. <laughs> yes. Well, you see, it's come to my attention that 60 Minutes has uh, performed a hit piece on Sloths the Animal for some reason, as you can see by the title of their video here. How Sloths Survive, Thrive as Nature's Couch Potato. They are, that's though. Not very nice, Hell, is it? They are, though. Know 60 Minutes made a piece on you, called you Nature's Couch Potato. Why so slow? Why do they move so <laughs> slow? Are they cute or are they so ugly they're cute? Oh, no. Oh, my cute. God. You like a bee list animal. Yeah. I won't stand for this, okay? And uh, they posted this on Christmas, no less. Do they have no souls? Probably not, but I think, I think we knew that already. All right, moving on. Sloths are some of the best guys. You got Sid from Ice Age, uh, Sloth from the Goonies, one of the seven deadly sins, okay? Remember, in the back of your head, that's what we're here to protect. Look, just to remind you what a sloth is, okay? Just to remind you what you're fighting for. You're defending the honor of the sluggish tree dwellers of Central and South. Okay. Even Google's going yeah. in on them. It's Will no man. one come to bat for my boy the sloth? That's why I'm here, okay? <laughs> so but you know what's just as bad as slandering innocent arboreal animals? Leaving your privacy unprotected. Oh, and that's where average. NordVPN comes in with top tier security that's just a click away. Imagine the internet as a jungle, a place where data pythons lurk around every branch. NordVPN steps in as your cyber machete, hacking away at all those no good data thieves oh, living in the brush. 
But NordVPN isn't just about avoiding digital deforesters. It's packed with more features than a Swiss army knife. Malware getting you down? Zap it away with NordVPN's threat protection. Annoying ads popping up? NordVPN makes them disappear faster than a brush fire. Okay, we got the shot. Go, go, go! Oh, God. Craving your favorite shows while globe trotting? Use NordVPN to bring a slice of home straight to your screen, wherever you might be. And for those moments where your passwords slip your mind, NordVPN's got NordPass, your trusty sidekick, keeping all your passwords secure and ready. NordPass can be purchased together with NordVPN with the same discount, no less. So why not give your digital life the upgrade it deserves? Head over to nordvpn.com slash jontron for an exclusive NordVPN deal. <laughs> and with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee, giving it a test run couldn't be easier. Also, as an added bonus, the people who buy the two-year plan will get an extra four months for free. So click that link, team up with NordVPN, help support this show, and wrap your online antics in a warm emergency thermal blanket. Ah, toasty and secure. Right, let's trek back home. All right, let's get back on track. Let's see what 60 Minutes has to say about our tropical friends, shall we? The stopwatch has long been the symbol Hanging of 60 on. Minutes, but any measure of time is pointless for the subject of our next story, the slow-moving sloth. Whoa. First of all, just like, why so serious about sloths of all things? Like, the vibe is off right away. For you real. You might think these distant relatives of the armadillo would make the perfect meal for just about anything faster. Wait a minute, sloths are related to armadillos? Yeah, I, I didn't I know that. I genuinely did not know that. But hold on, why would you assume any relative of an armadillo would be tasty? I mean, the armadillo doesn't look tasty at all. It, it's like the opposite of tasty. No. It's got armor. <laughs> <What the> <laughs> Put that in. I don't know what you're to me. Let me type armadillo. And yet somehow sloths have been hanging on in one form or another for 64 million years. What I can't stand is that any amount of these have survived to this date. I'm I'm spreading awareness because I'm sick of these fuckers just sitting up there. Do you, that's attitude. He's got attitude. Am I reading that wrong? That's attitude, I think. To understand this quirky animal. 60 Minutes hung out with a quirky zoologist. Oh. Okay, so not only are you going to insult <laughs> yeah, the you're gonna animal, be but you're also going to just straight up insult the expert that you brought onto your program as well? <laughs> Is no one safe? You're just going to call her quirky? Gross. yeah. Scientists are making new discoveries about a creature that's turned survival oh. of the fittest upside down. But if it's, if it's lived for that long, obviously it's fit in some way. Yeah. So, unless you're just saying because they, they live upside down, that still wouldn't turn the concept upside down. No. So here's where we meet Lucy Cook, the aforementioned quirky zoologist. Uh, their words, not mine. And she's joined by 60 Minutes on the Ground reporter, Sharon Alfonsi. This is an area where there are lots of sloths, so that we have that on our side. Perfect. Great start. That's how you know she's a professional. Yeah. The first thing we learned about sloths is that it's hard to spot them in the wild. Lucy Cook scanned the treetops. The sloth is a master of disguise. Like not two minutes ago, you're saying it's a useless piece of shit. Yeah, yeah what now. Oh, a perfectly camouflaged miracle of nature. <laughs> Get your story straight, 60 Minutes. If I were a sloth, I would very slowly contact a lawyer. Yep. Oh, there's one up there. She's hunched over. So what we're looking at is her back. That is not the side of the sloth we went all the way to Central America to see. Listen, a little pro tip here. Uh, just go 180 around that sucker. You'll get the whole view you were looking for. Costa Rica yeah. trip salvaged. Their eyesight is lousy. Their hearing not much better. <laughs> I feel like maybe could you could you have gotten a more flattering shot right here? This guy looks like he just woke up from being unconscious in the trenches of World War One for Christ's sake. Being nature's couch potato is the reason sloths have survived for more than 60 million years, in spite of well themselves. This thing is basically dog shit, and the fact that it's alive is I might as well film it to show you how dog shit it is. I wouldn't have left this alive if I saw it. In a tree, they can move so like a Tai cute. Chi master. But on the ground, Cook says gravity removes any shred of dignity. My man is clearly over here just trying to get a 4 a.m. bag of Doritos. Right? Don't tell me you haven't been there. Sharon's just over here like, just go. Just do the <laughs> thing you're supposed to do. Oh, you're pissing me off. The conquistadors that first observed them, they said terrible <laughs> that things. One's that one's that. It was the stupidest animal that he'd ever seen, and another said one more defect would have make its life impossible, and they just, they just didn't understand them, you know. Uh, ¿Qué es esto? Uh, esto no es oro. ¿Qué sentido tiene? Uh, ni siquiera puede resistir mi espada. 
Gentil. Cook says what those early explorers didn't understand <laughs> was English. <laughs> but that's irrelevant. And what is frankly hard to believe when you watch the effort it takes for a sloth just to blink is that this hairy <laughs> ninja is uniquely built to survive. Once again, you're just pointing out that it's a perfectly adapted animal <laughs> and your whole thesis thus far is wrong? Why so slow? Why do they move so slow? Well, you just said because they that's the way they do it. You appear to be the slow one. There's, you're definitely amongst the slow in my final analysis here. Sloths typically only climb to the ground for bathroom breaks. With habits like that and nails like this, you can understand. What? What? What are you? What are you gonna glean from that? With fingers like this and going to the floor to shit, <laughs> you, we we can really glean that. You can understand why they are solitary creatures. Yeah, because they keep getting bullied by people like you. <laughs> You've got some emotional scars, Kay. You've turned them introverted. And prefer to be alone until they don't. Oh. One more. <laughs> until they don't. True. Uh, you know what else that actually applies to? Everything and everybody. Yeah. Hard hitting journalism. The females will climb to the top of a tree when they're in heat and yeah, how scream do they for sex. Do it. <laughs> but they scream in D sharp. Why do you know that? <laughs> I mean, I'll do it, and I, he may well, on the strength of my impersonation. So he might just. <laughs> they seem slow until they want it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I will not have you speak to me that way. This lady's gone through her paces, okay? That's something you can't get out of a textbook. That's learned in the heat of battle. I love the lady still smiling, but she's still like. You can stop now. <laughs> I, 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 got, I got it. I, I got the idea. Behind Lucy Cook's cheeky sense of humor is a hefty resume. Mm -hmm. Why does she oh. look like she's preparing it for like a stew? Oh! <laughs> no. everything yeah. here. She has a master's degree from Oxford and published four books, including two on sloths, leading to donations for conservation and crowds at lectures that mix biology with stand-up. You hate to hear it. You hate to hear yeah, it. Yeah, I hate to coming, hear it. Mixing biology and stand-up, and it's a TED Talk. Duh, that's not a good combination of no, words. No. We humans are obsessed with speed. We idolize animals like the cheetah, capable of doing 0 to 60 in three seconds flat. Well, so what? <laughs> huh? I don't know, man. Maybe I just, I just don't get zoology humor. You know, it's a cut above. Valdez gave the first description of a sloth in his Encyclopedia of the New World. He said the sloth was the stupidest animal that can be found in the world. I have never seen such an ugly animal or one that is more useless. Listen, first of all, don't talk about me that way. Second of all, what is going on here? I mean, this is uncharitable, picture. even for 15th century standards. This doesn't look like a sloth at all. It's with a tiny face and head and the spindly legs. You having a bad day when you did this one or something? <laughs> are they cute or are they so ugly they're cute? Are they really good or is it just my brains playing a trick on me because it's so horrifying I have to make Aww. myself believe it's good? Is it a self-preservation thing that I'm doing? Oh no, they're cute. They are. Surely. No, yeah, they're just re they're just oh. regular cute. But then I mean I think a naked mole rat's cute, so you're asking the wrong person. <laughs> yeah, you're really not making this easy for me. You know, I'm trying oh. to be a warrior, but I mean, he's fine. He's, he's all when right. When I he's... shave my balls. Like, ah! Why is he like that, though, you know? So like a that you? animal. Yeah. <laughs> what is, I'm not even joking, like the uh, the vendetta from this lady. Why does she hate sloths so much? I'm, st I'm still just reeling from that. You, did you really say B-list animal is? What? Are you okay? You've been in journalism too long? Just look how one of those B-list animals can leave Lucy Cook starstruck. You guys have got to see this! <laughs> Cook noticed this. Cool. What is that? <laughs> what, what is it? A caterpillar? What looks like fluffy golf balls. What fluffy golf balls? No. I need to know how you're getting golf ball from this. Like, caterpillar, okay. A fruit if you're stretching, but golf balls? What does this look like from your perspective? Oh, someone playing a bit of 18 all up here? Bad. a couple tricks and fours. I don't know. What she realized was a cluster of something we'd never heard of. Come and have a look, Chan Chan. The elusive Caribbean white tent making bats. Ah, oh, I, I was right. I'm not gonna lie. I, like, my heart rate's gone right up. I'm gonna start pouring in sweat and I might start crying. I shouldn't have seen the bats. I shouldn't have seen the bats. <laughs> that does kill me. That kills me. 
oh, does somebody have the defibrillator? Oh. It's just a miracle of evolution. I mean, it's just why, like why? I think that's actually, that's your job. When you got that master's degree from Oxford, society kind of looks to you for this, the answer to why on that. That's about as exciting as it gets. <laughs> All right, come on, it's not that serious. You know, calm down. Your latest book is called Bitch. Ouch, but can I still get the book name? <laughs> I really like you and your work, but yeah, my book's called Bitch. <laughs> bitch. And I have it, I bought it. Let's see what we can learn from this manuscript. If you ever wondered what a monkey's O face looked like, now you know. Right, that's what it says. There you go. You ever, you ever been curious? Is this on the up and up? We watched as a female was prepared for release before getting a lift to a promising tree. Off she goes. And if she what falls asleep in the middle of the release, <laughs> <laughs> is that a bad thing? Uh, yeah, that, that'd be a bad thing. She, what do you mean? No, yeah, she'll just keep climbing the tree till she gets to the top. She won't <sighs> fall asleep because, yeah, what do you mean? So, after hearing enough of this baseless slander, I decided to come here to the source. No! Adventures. I'm oh, so yeah. jealous. Because how they really felt about it all themselves. And by the way, the Costa Rica was unnecessary. We're in Bolton, Massachusetts. So <laughs> could have saved on airfare. Let's go. <laughs> Here we are, an audience with a two-toed sloth. There's three toes and two-toe. feel like a, a B-list animal. <laughs> Gib. True. Okay, so we have a stunning rebuttal of the statements by 60 He's Minutes. still grabbing. You want more? You want to speak more? A lot more to say than I thought. <laughs> Sorry, I think there's a pterodactyl or something back there. That's on macaque's O face. Yeah, here you go. Uh, a pterodactyl. It's just tortoises uh, in coitus and a giant <laughs> elephant staring on. A little bit exhibitionist in here. Do you think maybe you should be getting a room? I'll take that as a no. <laughs> Honestly, I think we could just hang out. I think oh my god! Fun. He's like undoubtedly a cool guy, like a really cool yeah. guy. I like you. I like going. you, Sid. Look Excuse how clean me, you want to speak looks. on behalf of your slow brother? <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. I even looked like they have encounters at this zoo. Yeah. But it's just for penguins. And like, yeah, seeing a penguin would be cool. That would be neat. But... I would much rather, because I was like, for my birthday, I mean, I'm not hinting or anything. Maybe you can call <laughs> this place Soft up encounter. and just say like, hey, it's my Look, girlfriend's birthday and... She don't care about the mites. She's fine with it. You know, she, I'll sign a waiver. She may have to sleep in a tent Look, outside of our like house. if like a sloth just like Dracula bit me and, and I died... Aids. No, I have to actually die. I don't want to just, just live. Up, and, yeah, you don't want to linger. And die. Yeah, I would be fine with that. Oh. Shorty, Shorty says snoring. not so much. <laughs> Hold on, is he gonna bark? No. He's just snoring. Yeah, no. If I could like halt, if <laughs> both these babies he's sleep like sloth. Um, he's kind of a sloth. If I could like hold a sloth like a baby see like here's my thing i've never really been like oh for sure like give me a human child and then it like you know gets older and stuff like i love babies so like sushi is like my baby he right. sleeps with me every night he doesn't have any fur like he feels like a baby he acts like a big baby until he eats flies. <laughs> um, he does chase flies and eat them. Um, but if I had like a sloth or like a, a monkey that didn't get like bigger. Yeah. And it can just like hang on me. Like I'm good. I, like the sloth has those big meat hooks, man. I would be afraid. That I feel it, like, like they're just like, just be like. I feel like they're just like. Like little sickles. Not coordinate. Like they couldn't coordinate it. I don't it. know. Sloths are crazy. I think they're gross. They probably smell like just the most most withered, gross ball sack. Not if you bathe them. You, like, there's a whole video on YouTube. I don't know what you look up, but it's like 
baby slot like there's these there's Nikki. this sanctuary Nikki. where these women take Nikki. care of baby sloths i'm gonna tell you something that's gonna hurt you deeply inside you don't care you're never gonna have a sloth ever but i'm i i, I can, i've seen one but, before but, but I, i've but. seen one before <laughs> so i don't think that it's like totally outside you're never of, gonna have a sloth dude. i didn't say i would have a sloth i don't even know if it's legal to have a sloth you don't care if it's legal or not but <laughs> if i want to hold the sloth you got two weeks until my birthday okay, i got time i want I to time. hold a sloth let me get a hold of uh the booker for the the sloths um if anybody has any info on how i can get <laughs> Nikki, the opportunity to meet a sloth, please let us know down you in got, the comments. You got some hookups. You let me know the hookups. Thank you guys for checking out this reaction, and we will see, see you in the you next guys. one. Bye.